Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Lizzie, and today I am bringing you guys a brand new episode of the Star Sign Legacy Challenge. All right, so today is in fact the day for little Kai here to go ahead and age up into an infant. So we're actually going to go ahead and do that right off the bat. Um, we're going to go ahead and I think it's under baby care age him up so and of course dad's choosing this very moment to like leave but um i did go ahead and give his room a little makeover can we not age him up oh no here we go aging up into an infant all right so we're gonna go ahead and randomize his trait he is intense so these sims have big emotions that are easily entertained but they also are more difficult to calm when in a bad mood. Okay, so there is little Kai floating to the floor and he has unlocked his first milestone, which is a smile. Look at that happy face, Kai smile for the first time. Socializing with Kai more will help him learn new ways to communicate. So I'm going to go ahead and hop into Cass and fix him a little bit. I'm also probably gonna change his skin tone because he is very dark considering how light his parents are so we're gonna go ahead and do that and I will pick back up when we are done all right here he is this is Kai he is officially an infant now um, another thing that I went ahead and did was give her a little bit of a makeover because for the challenge she needs to have her hair dyed one more time so we have officially completed that um and then i just kind of changed her outfits up a little away from her maternity outfits so that's officially been done and akito is down here just cooking us some sushi this is kai's very first tummy time and he is very sad <laughs> he's very sad about it these two are going to go ahead and come sit down here in the living room and eat their sushi trays together and just kind of relax. Um, I think they're just going to kind of chat for a bit and then I'm going to go ahead and have Akito put little Mr. Kai down. He's getting kind of fussy, um, or he was a minute ago, but he's also getting quite tired, so we'll have him go ahead and come put Kai to bed when he's done eating his dinner and then in other news for these two as we all know all of this kind of happened for them really quickly um but I think they've kind of decided that they are ready to take that next step so either tomorrow I think it'll be tomorrow because they should both have the day off Tomorrow they're going to leave Kai with some friends and the two of them are going to go and hang out um, all day together and Akito has a big surprise planned for Akari so they may or may not be getting engaged. It is 3 in the morning, Kai has woken up, he is feeling a little bit hungry so we're gonna go ahead and come feed him before we go back to sleep um i'm not sure if i'll be able to get him to go back down but i'm gonna try my best so we'll kind of see what happens but as you guys can see i kind of changed up all of her outfits just a little bit so you guys will have that to look forward to Oh, okay, new personality trait. Akari has enjoyed spending time with family recently. It's become very important for her to bond with her family. Do we embrace a change to family-oriented? Yes, I think she's very family-oriented. So, that's perfect. I can't remember if she has any others. Okay, no, that's her first extra trait, so that's super exciting. Why are you crying, pistachio? Are your food bowls full? Yes, they are, so... Oh, and of course I left the sushi out. Fantastic. But we can go ahead and give him a little... A little pet. And, well, sir, why on earth is everybody awake? Go back to bed. He's literally gaming at 3 in the morning. 
Okay, it is 6.30 and Kai has officially used his diaper, so we're going to go ahead and have Dad come and change it while Kari gets a little bit extra sleep. Um, when she wakes up, I think we're going to go ahead and have her shave and shower and get herself all ready for the day because she knows that Akito is going to be kind of taking her out on the town. Um, they honestly may... Sir? They honestly may even end up going into the city for a little bit, um, and they're, I don't know why he won't use this. Can you go here? And then change Kai's diaper? Or is this diaper station not working? I don't know. It is. He just, I guess, wasn't close enough to it? I don't know. This is weird. It says change diaper. Okay, so we're just going to let him do that, and then he needs to go ahead and go to the bathroom. Mom is officially awake, so I'm going to have her come over here and use the toilet. She's going to shave her arm hair. We'll also shave our leg hair. And this little one is getting his diaper changed. Oh, wow, you really just dropped him. <laughs> okay. Um, so then... Let's go ahead and we can come use the toilet now that Mama's done. And I didn't even realize that I had this playmat override, but apparently I do. Oh, he's reached a new milestone. What's that? Kai started moving his little arms to reach for nearby objects. Now that he can ask for toys and play with the playmat toys, Kai can learn how to adeptly use his fingers. And he has a quirk revealed, so he frequently hiccups. Kai seems to hiccup quite frequently. Infants with a frequently hiccups quirk have more gas in their tummies and hiccup more frequently. Okay. So I'm not sure if that's going to make him upset or not. But he's very upset that his dad put him down. So when dad's done going to the bathroom, we'll go ahead and come back over here and do tummy time with him. And we'll blow a raspberry and just try and get him a little bit more cheered up. Dad is trying his very best to cheer poor Kai up, but it is not working. And apparently, he didn't change his diaper earlier. I'm not sure what's going on. It's still saying that he's stinky. So we're going to go ahead and try again and see if it'll work. I don't know if dad's just bugging out or if the room is too small. Yeah, see, they are, like, for some reason refusing to clean this poor child's diaper. And he is not very happy about it. Come on. Change his diaper. You can do it. He's stinky. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I think that's the funniest thing ever. <laughs> Dad does not. Dad thinks it's quite stinky. <laughs> okay, but once that is finally done, um, we have Akari down here. She made an acai bowl, and of course she decided to eat the buffalo chicken pizza instead. You know, cold pizza in the mornings doesn't sound that bad to me. So we're going to go ahead and bring little Kai down here, and then Dad's going to go ahead and grab a serving for himself and then I'm gonna take a few family pictures and then after that I think these two are gonna get to go ahead and head out on their date. Kai has actually just unlocked another quirk so he is a self-soother so Kai will often try to self-soothe himself. Um, he's more likely to place his little fingers and toes in his mouth to calm themselves when sad or angry and especially when crying they will also self-soothe to fall asleep so that's kind of good to know that he's going to try and be a little bit more independent um although of course here he is now crying because he's very upset that his parents put him down so i think mom's gonna go ahead and come grab him we'll give him a little kiss we'll bounce him and maybe we can even give him one of the, actually I'm just going to stick it in his inventory so that he has a little toy that he can pull out when he's feeling a little bit bored. I'm not sure if he can actually play with toys by himself just yet, but he'll have it for when he is actually able to.
Okay, so we have officially started our little day out on the town. So the first place that these two have gone ahead and come to is a park, which I placed down in Oasis Springs. This was created by Plum Bob Kingdom. 10 out of 10 would recommend. I mean, you guys, the lot speaks for itself, but they have a ton of amazing builds, so definitely go check it out. Um, but first things, we're just going to have them go ahead and come over here and shoot around together for a little bit, and then... You know what? Why don't we actually challenge him to a hoops competition? Let's go ahead and start with that. And we'll see who wins. Um, Akari is <laughs> has no shame in terms of getting super competitive in competitions. Um, she is definitely eager and ready to go. So these two... <laughs> Um, Akito likes fitness, sure, he can like fitness, but as you can see, she's already feeling pretty darn competitive out here. Akari just made her first basket, so I think she is in fact in the lead, but Akito is now going ahead and taking his shot, and while he does have much better form, he is in fact losing, so, um, I'm not sure if he's just doing it to let her win, but I also think he knows- Oh, there we go, her form has improved. I don't think he would be one to let her win, because if she ever found out about that, she would be absolutely furious. It doesn't say who won, but I do in fact think- that it was Akari. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and come over here and order a quick lunch. So I think they're both going to go ahead and grab um, a salad to eat quickly while we're over here. They are going to end the night off with some dinner, but I don't want them getting too hungry. So we're going to go ahead and just have them order some lunch really quick. And then the two of them can go ahead and come sit down over here at this really pretty spot. And then I think after that, they're going to go ahead and come down the two of them and sit down here. And we'll just have some nice, long, deep conversations. And the two of them can kind of just talk about life and sweet little baby Kai. Alright, so the two of them are sitting down. They're eating their salads. They definitely look like they are enjoying it quite a bit. Um, I am using a new G-Shade, and I am, in fact, obsessed with it. Elkris came out with a 2.0 from her original, and it is probably one of my favorite G-Shades of all time. So, definitely go check it out. My game is, like... It's just been taken to a whole nother level. Um, I am going to quickly change her outfit so that the rest of the date she is in something a little nicer. So this is her other everyday outfit that I went ahead and made for her. Um, it's just a cute little dress. And I'm going to go ahead and put him in this little outfit over here. He may end up getting a little hot, but we shouldn't be here for too much longer. So both of them are going to go ahead and come sit together down here and we're just going to kind of chat. The two of them haven't been out of the house and alone together since the baby came, which I know for you guys doesn't feel like that long of a time, but I'm sure for them it feels like absolutely forever. So thankfully Lil Kai has some wonderful <laughs> aunties and uncles who are more than willing to come and watch him. So the two of them are just going to sit over here and they're going to go ahead and talk. Um, he's going to go ahead and we're just going to go ahead and jump on in and be a little bit flirty so why don't we go ahead and snuggle with her these two are i swear just the most precious things ever okay so next we're gonna go ahead and just give him a little kiss we are also gonna go ahead and talk about dreams we'll brighten his day We'll tell him a little knock-knock joke. We'll also probably give him a few compliments. We'll flatter him. 
we can go ahead and get that charisma skill up while we're here. So we'll also go ahead and compliment his outfit. And we can have a deep conversation with him. And this is actually getting her fun up quite a bit. We can go ahead and describe a new idea. And... We can also go ahead and do an impression, but she is just loving spending so much time with him. And then after that, I think we're going to go ahead and have them take a cute little photo together to commemorate their date day. I swear on my life, these two are going to go hands down 100% one of my favorite all-time households, like... You guys can't tell me that these two aren't just simply, like, adorable. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go ahead and do... Oh yeah, that one's very cute. And, oh perfect. Absolutely perfect. I, I'm obsessed. Okay, so these two are going to go ahead and go on to their next location. And then I think we'll have about two more stops before the night is done. Okay, so the two of them have made it to the countryside, Henford on Bagley. Um, they passed this cute little country area on their way from Mount Kamarebi to, um, I almost said Silani, to Oasis Springs. And he knows that this would be the absolute perfect spot to have the two of them go ahead and come on over here and actually go ahead and go for a nice little swim so the two of them are in fact going to go ahead and head over towards the waterfall they're going to go for a nice little dip they haven't done this since before kai was born so they're going to go ahead and do that before making their way up to kind of just look around at the scenery but the two of them are definitely going to go ahead and come over here i think they're going to go ahead and swim over that way together towards the waterfall and we'll get a cute little picture of the two of them but um the two of them definitely where on earth is he going okay he's definitely decided to go the long way i'm not sure why but Hopefully he'll make his way over eventually. That was bizarre. <laughs> I don't know why he did that, but he is slowly but surely making his way over here as it gets a bit dark. So he's going to go ahead and splash her and he'll also go ahead and give her a little water kiss. So he's going to go ahead and splash her now he's gonna be like this is for you beating me in basketball i should be the one winning that not you <laughs> she's gonna be like whatever you're such a sore loser like get over it and here we go the famous kiss in the water of course maybe if he decides to do it <laughs> i like swear i just like <laughs> These two have my whole heart and soul. Oh my goodness. All right. So now that we've kind of swam around for a little bit, these two, oh my gosh, and it's raining. That just will not do. Um, We're going to make it sunny. It can't be raining. I know you two are going to run inside because it's about to start storming, but we're going to go ahead and make it sunny. And the two of them are going to make their way to go sit together on this little bench you guys can definitely get out of the water but you guys can't run inside so let's just have you guys swim over that way i don't know why it's staying in the yellow um but yeah we're gonna have the two of them run over that way and i am gonna have them change their clothes really quick once they know <laughs> Sir, please leave. Make him leave. I wish there was a way that we could just make certain areas completely private. So that way, random townies wouldn't ruin our shots. But alas, here we are. Um, Let's put you in this little 
party wear and you're gonna go ahead and come sit down right next to him so the two of you can kind of chat a bit um so he's gonna kind of get a little serious with her um he's gonna start by let's see affection let's go ahead and look deeply into her eyes yeah there we go <laughs> cuties okay so he's gonna start having a bit of a deep conversation with her over here and she's gonna be like oh my goodness why are you being like so serious all of a sudden and then he's gonna go ahead and profess his undying love for her he's gonna be like listen Akari I know that we met super quickly and you know we've had clearly a lot of surprises along the way Kai was not planned but he definitely made us kind of take a deep look at our relationship and make it kind of go to the next level and honestly I'm just so grateful for it I'm so grateful for our little family I love it so much and then he's gonna go ahead and kiss her cheek He's going to grab her hands, and then, you guys, he's going to get down on one knee, and he is going to propose. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what will she say? What will she say? So I'm going to take a few quick screenies. All right, you guys, she has said yes. These two are going to go ahead and get married. And of course, the first thing they do, they're like, we have to call the parents. <laughs> okay, so with that, we are going to go ahead and have these two go hit um, a bar back in Mount Kamarebi to celebrate. They'll grab a quick drink before heading on home. Okay, we have made it so we are gonna go ahead and come inside together oh are they already inside I think they are but we're gonna go ahead and come down stairs and into this little spot over here together let's go here oh we can't get there why ever not oh because this one doesn't have a door that would be why okay we're gonna quickly fix that I'm not sure what happened um this isn't my lot, but I do know that it did have a door originally, so why don't we go ahead and just throw that one on in, and we'll just make it brown to match, and then hopefully now they can both go here together. Let's see. Okay, I think that worked, and I'm just going to do that to get rid of my lag, but anyways, they're both going to go on over here i'm not sure where she is oh wow okay she really went far and wide um she needs to use the bathroom really quick so i'm gonna send her to go in here and do that he i'm gonna just give him a little boost to his hygiene um can the bartender come in this way because i personally would really like to get some drinks but Maybe he'll just go ahead and make a drink for Akari. Never mind, he cannot. Where is our bartender? He's just sitting out here in the rain. So let's go ahead and maybe reset him. And maybe he'll decide to come on in. Okay, the bartender has finally decided to come inside. So let's see, you're both are going to come back in here together. You are going to order a drink for group. You're both going to go ahead and get a Sims but a Sims put I don't know. <laughs> Not going to try. I already know I'm going to mess it up. <laughs> a Sims ma Nope. A Sims mapolitan, I think. That was like really hard for me. Okay, so the two of them are getting all sorts of flirty together. She's like, oh my gosh, we're going to have to plan the engagement party now. And I'm going to have to have a bachelorette weekend. And you're going to have a bachelor's weekend. And we're going to have to start planning the wedding. And oh my goodness, little Kai. 
so they definitely have lots to discuss i think what we are gonna do is go ahead and add a wedding event for tomorrow and they're going to do an engagement dinner so we'll invite kelly gracie kellen and that's about it i think um so we'll invite them we'll do drinks have toast dancing food desserts and they're gonna host it at their house around let's do 6 p.m tomorrow oh my goodness and then we have halloween so lots of fun things all right, they've both got their drinks, so these two can go ahead and enjoy sipping on those while they sit here at the bar. And of course, you know, they're making friends with <laughs> the lovely lady sitting right here. What a man, what a couple. Look at these two, you guys. I literally, he's like, hmm, it's all right, I guess. <laughs> he's like, I don't know if it was worth all my money, but I mean, could have been worse. So I think she's going to go ahead and, you know, she's going to be talking to the bartender and be like, oh my gosh, you'll never guess the day I just had. Like, my sweet boyfriend here took me out on this, like, lovely day. And now, all of a sudden, I'm engaged. Like, can you believe that? So, oh. And, oh wait. No, we don't know her. But we can go ahead and give her a cheerful introduction anyways while we're here because, I mean, you know, might as well. We're with a bunch of people, so we can go ahead and flatter everybody while we're here. And we do need to secure two votes, actually, so maybe we can um, try and do that while we're, while we're sitting here, you know? She can go ahead and flatter everybody, kind of work on that charisma anyways. Let's go ahead and flatter her, and then... Let's see, where is our career, political career, secure a vote from her maybe? And she's feeling super confident. Like, this girl is feeling great. So, maybe we can secure that vote. She's like, yeah, I'm a politician. And I just got engaged. And <laughs> the bartender was like, um, yeah, happy engagement. I'd love to support you. So, that kind of worked out. And then, you know what? We can honestly probably secure his vote, too, while we're here. Might as well. I mean, he is our fiancé now, so if he doesn't support us, then... <laughs> kind of not worth it. Oh, yeah. See, there we go. Perfect. And then we're all set for our career. So I think that, you guys, I am going to go ahead and send these two on home they can go ahead and check up on little Kai because he is feeling very, very upset um, from being left at home all day without his parents. We have made it home, so we are going to quickly run upstairs. Mom is feeling very anxious to see her baby, so we're going to go ahead and run upstairs. We're going to come bounce sweet little Kai. We'll cuddle him. We will go ahead and comfort him. He's not hungry or anything. So we'll also probably end up giving him a little kiss. And then we'll go ahead and put Kai to bed. Meanwhile, this guy needs to come take a shower. Because he is feeling quite gross. And then we're definitely going to send everybody on to bed. Because... Wowza, it is late. Poor Kai should definitely be asleep by now, but I definitely think the friends were having trouble putting sweet baby down. But look at him, he's like, oh my goodness, mama's here. This is perfect. He's feeling much better now, I think. Now that he has seen mom's sweet face, he's like, okay, I'm ready to go to bed. Like... <laughs> As long as mom is back home with me. So she's like, oh baby boy, you have no idea the day I and your dad have had. Like, such a day, but we're so happy to be able to come home and see you at the end of every night. 
so we're gonna go ahead and with that i think pop ourselves into bed we'll have to let him cry it out he'll probably end up self-soothing anyways um yeah the both of them can go ahead and get on into bed and i think with that you guys i'm going to go ahead and end off this part here i have loved being back with this household sorry that this video is so late um but i hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless and if you did do not forget to leave a like comment and subscribe and i will see you all in the next one very soon